She said, well, as you know, I'm an atheist, so I can't subscribe to their religious beliefs, but I will say this, they are very, very good people. That stuck with, I can still recount that story now because it's so important. You don't have to subscribe to people's beliefs. You can, I can be a radical atheist and you can be a Hindu. The important thing is that we're good people, that we have hearts and that we care about our brothers and sisters. And, so, and my mum did. I'm going to tell you one more mum story and then, I'm going to, and then I'll stop about mum because this is the most important bit. I was 13 years old. I had just gone through a phase where I suddenly realized I was going to die. I don't know if all adolescents have this existential crisis in their young, in early puberty, but I did. And I thought, F me. Am I going to die? <laughs> this is scary as shit. You know, yeah. oh my God. And I was. It might have been that, or it might have been something else. But anyway, something was worrying me, and it was probably more some kind of political thing that I'd latched onto, maybe through her. And she, and she looked at me, and she said, all right, I'm going to give you some advice now. Go on then, Mum. All through your life, you're going to be faced with difficult questions, and you're going to have to figure things out. This is my advice. When anything crops up, so it could be Israel, Palestine, it could be anything, it doesn't matter what it is. So you must read, 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 read. That's what Smokonish was telling me. Yeah. He, had, he hadn't, he'd only read one side. That's the difference between Michael Smokonish and me. I've tried to look at all sides of these things, so I know a bit more what I'm talking Anyway, she said, read, read, read. And, very important, learn everything you can about the subject that's troubling you. And, Importantly, yeah, look at it from both sides. If you, there's another opinion, make sure you study that as well. And blah blah blah. It'll take some time. It'll be hard work. But when you've done that, the work is over. You have done all the heavy lifting. The rest of it is easy. And I went, uh, "What is the rest of it, Mum?" <laughs> and she looked at me and she said, "The rest of it? Well, that's simple. You do the right thing." Sounds like you had an amazing mom. Amazing, amazing. Imagine giving... Every, every young adolescent should be given that advice by a parent or someone they respect, you know, so, because it's... I, I've That's been jangling around in my head ever since. Not every day, but very often I remember it. And I tell it to anybody who cares to listen as well because it was so important. It's incredibly important and not said nearly enough. It's rare. That's what's amazing. Like it sound, it resonates. It sounds so powerful and true and yet rare. 